What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Mario PG. I hope you're having an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And today, we are playing Tales of Berseria. Or is it Berseria? Berseria. It's a, it's a unique name for sure. Um, so, welcome to the channel if you're new. Quick things about me. If I see something in a game I like, I'll let you know, and if I see something I don't like in a game, I'll let you know as well. I like to think of myself as a very honest Let's Player. Um, I do like to explore everywhere, but sometimes I like to focus main story. And I take my games nice and slow. And I won't be editing nothing out. Unless it's like farming. That that part I do edit out. Um, so yeah, you'll get the full experience on this Let's Play channel. Also, a quick backstory. I have only ever played Tales of Arise. As soon as it came out, I got it on PC. And I got about 15 hours in and... It just didn't... It started so strong, man. It was my first ever Tales of game. And it started so strong. But the story just dwindled. The game looked stunning. The combat was so fun. But the, the story just... It just didn't grab me. It was about a guy with a mask and figuring out what he looked like. And there was more to it. And I'm sure some people love it. Um, and I may return to it. But it just didn't grab me, unfortunately. But here we are with Tales of Berseria. Funnily enough, Tales of Berseria was supposed to be my first ever Tales of game back when I was streaming on Twitch, which I still do. Um, I streamed this game on my PlayStation. I used to stream from my PlayStation before I got my first ever PC. And this game, when you stream it from your PlayStation, is literally all just a blue screen. It's basically, you know, it's copyright, the game can't be shown, blah, blah, blah. And I couldn't play it, so unfortunately I had to move on. But here we are, Nearly a year after finally playing Tales of Berseria, the music sounds lovely. This, the intro was pretty badass. I didn't watch the intro fully because it's spoilers and I don't like, you know, knowing what characters we're going to get and stuff. Um, and JRPGs are notorious for spoiling their own games. And that's why we love them. But anyway, Tales of Berseria, ladies and gentlemen, begins now. Let's do this. Um, yeah, we'll go with normal. I'm new to this kind of game. Input buffer window? Adjust the amount of time allowed for buffering commands during a combo. What? I will keep it short. Subtitles on. Arts, items. Uh, we'll keep it items and arts. Menu short. I'm not quite sure what that means. Vibration off. Not really a fan of that. Map camera rotation speed. We'll keep that free. Very interesting that they've got stars for <laughs> rotation and stuff. This is whether or not the camera will automatically rotate based on direction. No, we don't want that. Stereo. Eh, stereo. Oh, music volume. Now, on my end, it's quite quiet. But here's what we can do. We can put this all... I have a feeling it will get very loud SFX-wise. We'll keep voice and movie at four, music at three. Um, and that should be perfect. If there are any problems with the audio... Feel free to let me know. After the first video, I will uh, make sure everything is fine and dandy. Regarding uh, uh, settings, everything is full. Everything. Even anti-aliasing, I put that up to 16x. It was already on 8, 8x. Everything is full. Shadows everything. Let's do this. Tales of Berseria begins now. The hype is real. Damn, look at that for a first image of the game. You hide here, Velvet. I'm going back to help Celica. I'm so scared. Arthur, please! <laughs> You'll be just fine with these. Celica enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. 
sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? I'll come back for you once Selica is safe. Oh. It's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Laffy's older sister, and you're a student. This is a sad start. in the tree thing What a start! Bro! So we've got two sisters. Selica and Laffy, I think? Or Leffy? And Arthur. Hold up, is that just a naked woman? Or am I extremely... You know... It's... Oh, oh no. Well... I guess I was half right. How does she have a demon arm? That is badass. On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. <clears throat> and that's your... Laffy! Oh. Time to wake up! <sighs> okay... Morning! I told you to stop calling me Laffy! I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good! <laughs> hmm... Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the Cape. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself then. Bring down a few prickle bores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right, I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in a spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, v hey, Velvet and Laffy. what's okay. everyone and apologizing Arthur. for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. I love porridge. So, so, oh, hello. This seems a lot later than the cutscene we saw, because in the cutscene they seemed very young. 
And Arthur seems a lot older. So I'm assuming they survived that, which is good. But how and why wouldn't they show us how they did? Hmm. Also, it seems Laffy's sick or something. It could just be, you know, a cold or something, but it also could be, you know, something serious. Who knows? Um, okay, A, confirm, pause, start, skit, okay. Um, I also think the game's a little bit quiet? I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll, everything will be changed after the first episode if it's a little bit quiet, don't worry. And the game begins. A ball. <laughs> Village of Longing, I believe it said. Rest up, all right? Don't forget to take some gels with you. You know, you're careless sometimes. I'll be fine. You just make sure. Don't worry about me. I'll be in bed resting. You better be. Fully voice acted? Keep warm and no going outside. Sheesh, you don't trust me Sheesh. at all. It'll get dark if you don't leave soon. Oh, okay, so not fully voice acted. Do you need to be quite so suspicious of me? Okay, she does have an interesting voice. I do have feelings, you know. Sorry. I'm just worried. Not suspicious at all, right? Hmm. Now, I... This is ruining my immersion. Because I normally am a male character in every game I play. It's very rare you find me playing a female character. Normally, I like to... Play with... The male cat. Oh, there was going to be a, a smooth line there or something that, you know. But I failed miserably. Okay, let's see what's up here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hello, hello, hello. Tarnished coin minted centuries ago. The silver should fetch a decent price. Nice. I, I like this. That it's showing us what the item is. While we pick it up. Now I wonder. If when I carry. Find another garlic. Garlic bread. If I find another garlic. Will it. Repeat the thing at the bottom. Or will it be gone. And you just pick it up. Huh. What's fall damage like. Wait is there no jump. Oh cool. L1 fixes the camera. Where does that? Wait, is there no jumping? Oh! Alright, that'll do. Another cool thing. We didn't even have to go down the ladder. I think I'm going to make the camera much faster. Um, okay. A mini-map showing your current surroundings is displayed. In the upper left of the screen. Press X to display the area map. On the mini-map, which only displays your current surroundings. The area map shows the entire region you're currently in. Press RB to display the current main story. Okay. If oh, I'm okay, on the hunt nice. for prickle bores, I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This is for Laffy's medicine, so I can't mess this up. Game's lovely and colorful. Love to see it. There's a little bit of like a blur. I don't know if you guys see that on your end. So we've had two deaths it seems in the area which isn't very nice okay nothing around here I guess we just continue Should I see what's over here oh nice a leak used in uh, cooking and stuff actually I think the map I think the camera is just fine Everything seems great so far. Everything's running beautifully as well. JRPG ports always scare me. Wait, dinner plan? Come to think of it, Arthur hasn't requested his favorite oh, dinner yeah, in a while. Skits. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it. I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Salika taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. Well, she seems nice. Um, I really hope I don't miss none of those skits. I really hope I don't. 
Okay, so when... Oh, kitty! So when they've got this smile thing above them, I believe that means that it's just, you know, generic, not much going on talking, I think. Just warming up. I'm not going to read everything. Okay. So, so far, I believe I'm right. Can't go in there. A little bit of lore on Arthur that he talks to himself. Was Laffy talking to Sarah's? What was he doing at the store alone? Okay, so we found out Laffy saw him. If I can't pet this cat, then we're not playing this. Oh, Bandai Namco. Us gamers are very simple people. Let us pet the kitties, or you won't get our money. It's as simple as that. I actually bought this game for a fiver on sale ages ago. Like, you can't <sighs> go wrong with that. Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those things. It's a nightmare! Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, demons, they gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell! Come to think of it, Selica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. Who's she didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's oh, good that my sister died? Wait! How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. Wait! Huh? I'm confused. I'm confused. By the way, that was bloody brilliant. Like, fully voice acted and good voice acted NPCs. Actually learning about lore and stuff. So, it's been seven years since what we saw. I guess it was Velvet and another sister and it wasn't Laffy. And maybe Laffy isn't her sister. Maybe Laffy's Arthur's daughter or something. So, the girl we were with died? Let me pet this dog. No! Papa's. Hey, Velvet. Is Lafisette feeling better? No, not yet. He needs a little more rest. Oh, it's a boy! <laughs> oh, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Oh. Right, got it. Lafisette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back. Like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit, but still, that sounds terrible. Let oh me know if God. there's anything oh I can God, do I know to what's help. Gonna happen. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Selica raised me and Laffy all by herself. So now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. Okay, so, actually, I just realized. So, Arthur said, I'm going, oh, okay, I know who Selica is. I know who Selica is. Selica is that girl we saw in the sky with, like, the X. I get it now. Okay, I get it now. When Arthur, I forgot that he said, I'm I'm going to help Selica or something stay here. I thought that meant the city. I thought, for some reason, Selica sounded like a city to me. Okay. Interesting that they're telling us all of this through NPCs. Like, if I didn't talk to those, t those two people, I would have no idea what's going on. Huh. I should Very probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare. But like Arthur always says, battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. Okay. Cool. Uh, who are you? Hey, Velvet. You need hunting supplies? Come to me. Wow. 
weird. The left analog does this, but the left D-pad does this. I, I wonder why. I have 200 gold. Medicinal heal ones, allies. Okay, so this is this is gel. Okay. All right. I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna listen to the game and buy some. Oh, for God's sakes! I own free. I thought the guy owned free and could only sell me. Oh well, it's only 200 gold. Oh, there's pets everywhere. What a great start. I'm a baby. Hey, Velvet. Doing a little shopping today. She looks so young, as if she's the mother. Just stocking up before heading out. Hunter's only as good as her supplies. How's the baby doing, by the way? We're all quite healthy, thank you. You want to try changing the little one's diaper? It won't be long before you're doing it for real, you know. What? Uh, I don't think I'm ready for that just yet. I'm only 16. <laughs> Uh, but changing diapers I can do. Ah, time passes quicker than you think, and you're a pretty girl. I'm sure the boys in the village will pick up on that. And boys from out of town, too. Um, I'd better go hunt while there's still light. Talk to you later. I didn't mean to scare you. Alright, dear, take care now. Right, okay. So, so she's an interesting character. Uh, we've got this way, and... What's this? You can save your progress in the game by pressing A while touching a save point. Additionally, while you're exploring the field, you can create a quick save by pressing... Oh, thank God for that. Okay. I was worried that this was going to be the old school system of like, you know, you need to find your save points. Oh, man. I'm so happy that isn't, that isn't the way. Okay. Okay, is this a guy over there? I kind of want to... Is there a sprint? No. Pop a coin. Hello. The demon blight is a punishment sent to us by the Empyreans for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Empyreans? The four Empyreans created the world. The one Empyrean shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When contradiction permeates this world, the time of suppression will be upon us. Are you okay? <laughs> Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! All right, then. Oh, it's you, Velvet. If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know. I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, aren't you? I'm 16. <laughs> the dialogue's been really good. My, my guess is, uh... As if that's a boy. I genuinely thought it was a girl, Laffy. My guess is he's got the demon illness or whatever it's called. You know, me being the optimist I am in gaming, he's going to turn into a demon and die. And we're going to be left alone and become a psycho. We will see, though. Tranquil Woods. Autumn Colored Forest. Well, isn't this a beautiful... My favourite area in games are woods. They always are, always will be. And isn't this a stunning area? Just look at all the colours. Um, okay. This area looks promising. We need some monsters. These small... These are very small. These are going to be hard to find. Um, okay. Right there. Interesting. If you look at the minimap up top, it's kind of hard to tell that this ends. You can sort of. Oh, no, no, you can see it. There's like a small gap. So when I press square, is there a way to zoom in? Oh, brilliant. Now, I wonder if it stays that way. No, it doesn't, unfortunately. All right, let's go fight some boars. Now, how do we quick save? That's our quick save. Where? Here we go. The legendary combat. Here we go. Combo attacks can be performed based on the number of souls each character currently possesses. What? Use any combination of B, Y, A, and X to perform a free hit combo. Okay. Huh. 
That was B triangle A. Uh, A. Let's try triangle B. A. Damn, girl! Okay! Nice animations! By stunning, defeating, or inflicting status ailments upon enemies, you can get souls, allowing for more combos. Oh! One sec, let me try something. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, if you looked, my souls ran out there. And then I did barely no damage. Wait, what? What's going on? And is there no lock on? There isn't. Wait, what's this? Nice! Okay, that was. A okay. Max damage 421. I like that it tells you how well you did. Combo 9. And we got our prickle ball meat. Triangle for details. KO 3 victory. Enemy stuns 4. Huh. Okay. Contacting with an enemy while on the field will initiate a battle. Victory is achieved by attacking you. Okay. If you feel you're in an unwinnable battle, you can run towards the line at the edge of the battlefield to cause the escape gorge to rise. Once the gorge fills, you will flee the encounter. However, you cannot flee from battles fields that have a red border. Yeah, okay, I'm assuming that's there's a how boss it's fight. Done. That is how it's done. Let's go, girl. Proud of you. Why is there a question mark? Oh, the uh. cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops. Then at least the city will buy our prickleborn meat now. Luffy and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinklebores? Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about Pigglebore? Yeah, Picklebore! That's a cute name. Maybe too cute, though. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. Uh, I mean, this is a JRPG where we just destroy everything that's cute in the world and, you know, farm them for XP. I wonder why there's a question mark here and maybe later on I unlock a jump or something? Wait! I wanna... Okay. Another tutorial. Uh, arts use up the soul gauge. When the soul gauge drops to zero, you can still attack, but you'll be knocked back if you try to defend. How do I defend? I need a combo. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is locked. Oh, okay. This means I'm locked on. L1's to defend. Wait. How did I just change... I'm trying to learn the battle, sorry. Oh, I get it. What? There we go. Okay, I just kept spamming buttons. Use LB to defend. Defending decreases damage from enemies. Also greatly depletes SG. Also resets the camera position until you are against the wall. Take your time, piggy. There we go. Alright, now you're about to die. Right, here goes! Arthur's second maxim. Know your foes and strike where they're weak. Nice! Is that all? I'm not gonna lie, I'm button bashing right now. I'm gonna keep it full 150% truth with you all. I am button bashing hard, and I wouldn't want it any other way. 
Using art when you have no SG comes with a number of detrimental effects. Combo speed is slower and combos are more easily broken. Attacks are more easily guarded against and attacks that are guarded will be deflected leaving the attacker vulnerable. Status effects are less likely to be inflicted and healing arts restore. Okay, so I'm just not going to attack when I have no SG. Now, is SG the blue? Or is SG the red? If an enemy is stunned, you can just go all out. Yay, loot! I love loot. And that's the apple gels that we bought and wasted our money on. Three kinds of treasure chests can be found in various places in the world. Each contains different kinds of items. Coppers, consumables. Oh, for God's sake, so I was meant to scroll down. Oh, nice! God, you know what I love about JRPGs? The menus. They're just... God, they're just... You just know what you're going to get with them. Like, you just know it's not going to be all, all over the place. It's going to be nice and simple. World map? Uh, okay. A sharp, instantly retractable gauntlet blade. Perfect for surprise attacks. HP recovery on defeating foes? Nice. So it looks like weapons have a skill to them. So do accessories. Nice. Garlic bread. Okay. Um, I have no add-ons. So, uh, even if I did, I wouldn't use them. I want to see if I can... Um, Reread my tutorials. Okay, let's actually read this. It all started seven years ago on the night now known as the opening when the crimson moon rose in the sky. It brought with it the demon blight, a mysterious sickness that transformed humans into bloodthirsty monsters called demons. The demon blight swift spread, drove the kingdom of Midgand and the rest of the world onto the brink of destruction. In a ball, a small village on the edge of the dying world, there lived a young girl named Velvet. After losing her parents at an early age, she was raised by her older sister, Selika, until she too was taken from Velvet by a demon seven years ago. Since then, Velvet, her younger brother Lafayette, and her brother-in-law, huh, Arthur, had supported each other, never letting go of joy and hope for the future. Today, like so many other days, Velvet is off to hunt prickle balls so she can afford medicine for her sickly younger brother. Okay, nice. Brilliant. Um, what I would like to find is okay. Here we go. Mini map, then area map. Here it is. The treasure chest. Silver chest is standard equipment, and gold chest is exceptional equipment. Okay. Equipment can offer improvements to your character's parameters, but beyond that, they can also provide a variety of skills. Higher stats are of course important, but be sure not to overlook the usefulness of skills too. And then we've got saves, load, graphic settings. Okay, brilliant. Oh, look, it tells us that we've opened a chest there. Huh. Always have multiple saves, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it doesn't seem like it's showing us our playtime. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, good. It wouldn't be a JRPG if it didn't, really, wouldn't it? And what do we have here? Looks like we've got an interesting area here. I am going to call it there. I've absolutely loved my first half an hour in the game. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Can't wait to continue this journey with you all. Thanks for being you, and I'll see you guys next time for more Tales of Bazaria. Bye-bye.